Open Golden Valley wants you to take a closer look at local history. It's been a long journey, but the Golden Valley Historical Society is about to open up a new museum telling the story of their city. We got a sneak peek. It's hard to imagine, but the hustle and bustle that is Golden Valley today used to be nothing but farmland and fields. Step into the new wing off the side of the Little White Church on Golden Valley Road, and you can get a better taste of Golden Valley's agricultural past and much, much more. We've got uh, the Goat Garden Club uh, display with the uh, Lilac Queen. From Lilac Queens to Golden Valley High School memorabilia, this is a collection that used to sit in the basements and storage units of Golden Valley Historical Society members. Now it has a home and tells a story. We hope it offers them an opportunity to understand their history in Golden Valley and become more conversant about its history. Longtime Secretary Don Anderson told us members wanted to tell stories about Ewald Dairy and the first Byerly store, but they also wanted to tell the stories you might not know, like how the suburbs struggled with civil rights. A black musician played at a restaurant in Golden Valley, and he was stopped every time he came to work by a police officer for a, some sort of equipment violation. And after the third time, he filed a lawsuit. The court ruled for the musician. It's one of the many history lessons you can learn here, thanks in large part to the dedication of members like Ed Jordan, who was a local businessman. When he died, we found out in his will that he left $400,000 for us, which means that we could start building this building immediately. There's so much to learn here. Members even included a display in the restroom. Two restrooms, and you really have to go in there because some, there's educational materials in there too. <laughs> Displays will change over time, and like any students of history, the volunteers are remembering the lessons of the past while keeping an eye on the future. This is not the end of the project. This is the beginning of the project. Now we have to have volunteers who will be the greeters. The grand opening will be on Saturday, September 22nd, and after that you can visit the museum on Thursdays and Saturdays. And of course, it would not be a visit to the Little White Earth still without talking about the street much, signs that are for sale by the Golden Valley Historical Society. The to date, they've sold more than 1,100 old street signs to people all around the country, and they still have about 1,000 left to sell. The signs are $25 each.